Hi everyone, Darren here, and today I thought I'd show some of the issues I commonly see on twin carbs. So this is a set that came to me recently for uh, rebuilding, and uh, before I take it completely apart, I figured I would show some of the things that I see most commonly misset on carbs, uh, twin carbs specifically. So <clears throat> for starters, I see the throttle levers uh, typically not adjusted to open in sync. So, for instance, if I hold these cams down with my thumbs to act as if they were the return springs and I lift the throttle lever, you'll see the one on the left open before the one on the right. So that means that the left carb, or in this case the front carb, was opening up sooner than the back carburetor. The second problem that I typically see is that the chokes aren't synchronized. So on this one, uh, the left-hand side actually opens before the right-hand side, and I'll try and show you this here. It's a, it's a subtle motion, but... Maybe if I hold this one down. Anyway, it is opening before this one. And then uh, the third problem, most common problem that I see, is that the jets get out of sync when they're being adjusted. So I've got my little multimeter <coughs> here. And uh, I'm just going to measure the depth of the jet. This one shows 60 thousandths deep. This one's at 57. So this one is actually running richer than this one is. Uh, Probably not that much of an issue at larger throttle openings, say above 3,000 RPMs, but at idle this one would definitely have been richer, much richer than this rear one. So whenever you guys are setting these things up, always make sure that your jets are always at the same height, your cams open at the same point, and your throttles are opening at the same point, because that'll ensure that these are running at the same rates and providing the same amount of fuel to each half of the motor, and this will just give you a more smoother more consistent running overall. If you guys think you're having some issues with your twin carbs, just go out and double check that these settings are set correctly on the throttles as well as the chokes. I know that it's pretty straightforward to check them and at least you know visually inspect and if you do have an issue with them um, you know these are the adjusting screws and nuts here. By the way these are a British Association size, a BA size uh, hardware, so make sure you use the appropriate wrenches to adjust them. But you can find the specs for setting these in any of the SU tuning books or other resources online, but do make sure that these are opening at the same rate and make sure your jets are all at the same heights. Now, at the very end of your tuning, what will happen is you'll synchronize the idle flow so with a, a synchronizing tool, so you'll check the airflow in each carburetor and make minor adjustments to ensure that you're getting the same uh, amount and so they make minor adjustments to the throttles and then reset your your cam screws But uh, yeah, if you think you got something going on just double check this as a starting point and make sure that everything is equal Oh look another set of twin carbs Let's check out these and see if they have any problems. So in the first set obviously there were issues with throttle linkage choke linkage jet heights um, this is another set that I have to deal with, so I wanted to check these as well. And sure enough, there are issues. Um, for starters, this has the same problem here with the, the throttle control. So if I lift this, you'll see that the front carburetor opens before the rear. Also, uh, same, same problem with the chokes. These are a little rusty, so they might not be as easy to move, but you'll notice that the front one, again, started opening before the rear. And then I'm going to go ahead and take off the dashbot tops and measure with my micrometer here to uh, see what the jet heights are. Alright, so I've got the tops off, and I'm just going to measure the jet heights. Forty-seven thousands. Forty-eight 
88 thousandths. So yeah, on this car, again, whoever set this up, this front carburetor was running way too rich compared to the back one, or perhaps maybe the back one was running way too lean. Uh, in either case, these were very out of sync. So definitely make sure you check and adjust your carburetors and try to get them as even as possible for the best running conditions as possible as you can get. I did notice one other small problem with this carburetor setup. So on the rear carburetor, this is the choke mechanism screw. Um, there's some hardware missing between the cam and the head here. Uh, there's supposed to be a very small spring washer that goes in here to keep it secured. Like this side, there's a, there's a small washer there. Uh, anyway, what's going on is that when you ch pull on the choke on this end, the cam comes up and then slips off and away from the fast idle screw because the hardware is missing. So this, again, this, this back carburetor was not, was not adjusting its throttle at all. Um, just a bunch of no good things going on here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in another one of these.